Please excuse me. Sorry, excuse me. Please would you empower me. The consequence of empowerment is power, or its image, and what can you make do with the image of power? My design is on personal empowerment, a self-designed model of life and lifestyle. My power is to in-power, skill equipped to input power. I am an AC access point, an alternative current connection, a family history beginning in the 80s of the 19th century, a time following the fall of certain empires and the whirring revolution of machine parts. 19th. A mistake. Mistaking the 19th for the 20th. A current error rectified. A common and current error. The age of the plug-in and unplug led up to our own. One could not plug in and unplug a canvas in a frame. No, certain empires ran and fell on a different source of power. It is you who is mistaken. My ancestry, the first, the beginning of my line, an Englishman's adapter of 1883, a means of transforming the power of light to an empowering of labour-saving devices, light becoming vacuum suck and blow dry. Early hair dryers reversed vacuum cleaners, reverse vacuum drying, both sucking on the socket, the vacuum state a ground state of physics, and dry hair, obviously. Physicists often discuss possible result and impossible conditions, the rare combination of two U's in the English language. Partial vacuums measured in quality as they approach perfection. Even if all matter was cleaned out, cleared and removed, a volume may never be empty. Perhaps the hairdryer is a reversal of failure, a making of something from things that cannot be nothing. Nothing is not besides the turning point. Still, why reverse a suck to a blow? No matter. It is not why. The question is not why, nor should it be. The question is from what, that is the matter. From what matter does light, vacuum, or blow, dry? Within my power to in-power, revive you, your image in blackness, darkness, emptiness. It is not my image, or I am not an image, I am an object, a matter, not in a vacuum. I cannot exist in a vacuum. nor you. No, there is only partial vacuum. There is no vacuum. In a vacuum there is nothing, and despite your lack of empowerment you are not matterless. A matter remains. Is that your imagining of vacuum? Squash flat and stretch? I imagine this image of vacuum. But light cannot escape from nothing. Imaginatively speaking, my image is literary, not literally. No, an image cannot represent a vacuum, except for this. Or this. You, a not vacuum, waiting for a powerful connection. Electronically generated power, magical power. Strength and power to the people, of the people. The power to consume our own criticality. We a double act. An imaginary image dialogue. If we are imaginary, then there's only imaginary power. Images have power. Good self-image gives confidence and power. Imaginary power gives imaginary hope of a self-styled lifestyle. A doubling of imagination. A double in a dialogue speaking from the same voice. What does reality or its image matter? 
Consume it. Eat it. Lick it. Click it up. A new click of paint. An image of an object imagining power. Electrical power. Magical power. The powers of darkness. Offering people power over their own lives. No licking, clicking or painting a vacuum. Perhaps a hairdryer or a blow waver. All that's left is a representation, an image in its imagination. Representation. I do it or it is done to me, by me. No matter. Across me an image represents, democratically powerful, the power to consume imaginatively. Then you are in power in the end. Where is the end? The question is not where, nor should it be. The question is how. The end. The credit pages roll. Theme music plays. Representation begins again. A standard electrical outlet. End again. Empowered then. Theme music plays. Roll credits. Screen to black. End. End. End.